Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to create the file that will connect to the database. So here in my project, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to say config.php. And now in this file, we need to create a PHP script that will connect to the database. So I'm going to say here uh, PHP. I'm going to open a PHP script. And then here what we need to do is that we need to type a code that would, would allow us to connect to the database. So the code is that is we need to use the my sqli underscore connect. This function is going to allow us to connect to the database. And this function takes four parameters. So the first parameter is the first parameter as you can see it's the host. So what is the host? We need to, in order to know the, the credentials, we need to head on over to the database. So we need the host, we need the username, we need the password, and we need the database name. So I'm going to head on over to the uh, database first. Make sure that your Apache web server is up and running, and also make sure that your MySQL database is up, is up and running. That, that can be done by opening the XAMPP, and then you need to start this, the MySQL database, as well as your Apache web server. And in the browser, just type localhost for slash dashboard. And then click on PHP My Admin. Now, in PHP My Admin, you need to click on user accounts. And you will be given so many user accounts. The one that I'm going to be using and I recommend using is this one. Is localhost, uh, root localhost. Because this is, uh, it's very simple, you don't have to create a new uh, account, you don't, you don't have to create a, a new user account, and it's very simple and easy to use. So the username is root, the host name is localhost, the password is no, meaning that there is no password, and the global privileges is all privileges. So let's use this credential. I'm going to be using this. Host name is localhost. So in the, in the function here, the first parameter is the as you have seen, the first parameter is the host name. So the host name is localhost. The second parameter is the username. So what is the username? The username is root. So we need to say here comma and then root. The third parameter here, the third parameter is the password. So what is the password? The password is nothing. So we need to pass here empty string, an empty string. The last parameter is the name of the database. So what is the name of the database? So my database name is php underscore project. It could be anything. So it depends upon how, uh, it depends upon uh, which name you have given your database. So my database is php underscore project. So the last parameter here is php underscore project. And then semicolon. Uh, and uh, instead of saying semicolon like this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say or die. I'm going to call a function called die and then semicolon. So why do we need this function? This function is going to kill the connection with the database in case we couldn't connect with the database. Actually, it's not going to kill the connection. It's going to stop executing any code below because if, if we couldn't connect to the database for any reason, uh, any code that's going to come below this is useless and it's going to display an error. Therefore, we need here to say or die and then we should display a, a, a message that says could not, couldn't connect to database. So instead of, instead of displaying errors that the user would, wouldn't understand, here we simply, we can simply say or die. So if we can, if we if we connect to the, to the database, then there is nothing, there is no problem. But if we couldn't connect to the database, database then this code will be this um, this message will be displayed. Couldn't connect to the database. Finally, we need to store this in a variable called here con con double n is equal to this because now this this file this file and this variable will be used later. Let me now save and we are good to go.